So now that we made the circuit for the pump, let's start writing some code. So in this video, we're going to be starting making the basics of our project, like creating the outline, and then we're going to be writing the code that will manage the pump. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a folder, and we're going to name this folder uh, whatever the name of your project is. So in this case, it's going to be hydroponics. You can put this folder anywhere. I'm just putting it on my desktop so that you can see it. Open up Sublime, and we're going to open this folder with Sublime. So go to File, Open, and then go to your folder. Mine's on my desktop. Or just click on it, click open, and then you can see on your left you see that it has all your folders. So right now there's no files in it, so let's create one. We'll create main.py, which if you remember from our last video, that's going to be our, our main file that we actually run when we want to run our project. And then we'll create little other module files that are going to have individual parts. So we'll create pump.py, which will manage your pump. Let's add some comments so we know what we're doing. So this is the main file of the project, and if you're not sure how we're going to uh, how we're going to use what kind of layout or format we're going to use for our project, watch. The last coding video which we showed how you lay out projects with large files so now we're going to write some code in pump.py and the way you do this is you need to import this module called rpi.gpio and this allows us to use the gpio pins which if you remember from the raspberry pi intro video are those pins on, on the side of the raspberry pi board so this allows us to interact with those pins and give them output so the first command we need to do is called set mode or we'll first create a, create a variable called pin, and if you remember from the video we used, the video when we made the pump setup, we had a certain pin connected to our relay which controlled the pump, and I told you to keep track of which pin number you used. This is where you put that pin number. So I use pin 14. If you use a different pin, you use that one. So as I said, use gpio.setMode, and this distinguishes which labeling system we're using for the pins. So this can either be gpio.bcm or gpio.board, and the differences are pretty technical. But for our purposes, we're going to be using gpio.pcm. Like the difference is one is physical, so gpio.board is the physical labeling of the pins, and gpio.pcm is more software orientated and it's more user friendly in my opinion. Okay, next we need to set up our pin. So we're going to set up our pin. So for me, it's pin 14, and we're going to set it up as an output because we want to be able to. If you remember, we want to be able to output power to the relay to turn on on or off the pump. So setting it up, setting up our pin as an output allows us to either turn on the pin or turn off the pin. And since the pin's connected to the relay, we can either turn on or off the pin. And what we're going to do here with this output command is we're going to output low to the pin. So what this means is we're, we're setting the pin to zero charge. And, and this, this starts off the, the pump is off. Like if you imagine when this file is ran, it's going to first set the mode and then set up the pin. And then it's immediately going to turn the pin off. So when you first run this file, it's going to start off with the pin is off, and that's what we want. We don't want the pump to be on when we start the file. We only want it to be on when we turn on the the pin. And if you see there, I switched it to low to gpio.low to false and zero. That's because those are all aliases. Any of those could work. I just think gpio.low makes sense. So now we're going to do a while true loop here, and we want to output high to the pin. And actually, I think we're going to want to wrap this in a function. Because if, if we wrap it in a function, we're able to call this function in main.py. If you remember from the other video I did on managing large projects, if you do everything in functions, if you have a function in a separate file, you're able to call that function from the main file if you import it. So let's do this in a function. So while true loop. And remember, if you remember, our goal here is every four hours, we want the pump to turn on for five minutes. So here I'm just writing a, a, what's called a doc string. And this is when you do one of these triple quote comments under a function name, it pretty much just says what the function is. So this is good practice if you're having other people read your code to have a doc string on your functions because it allows other people to look at your functions really quickly, read the comment and understand what they do. So this function is going to contain a loop which manages the pump. So just having that on every single one of your functions, if, if it's only a project for you, it doesn't really matter. But if other people are using it, then it's good to help them understand. So we're going to do a while true loop here because we want it always running. And the first thing we're going to do is turn on the pin. So pull it to high, uh, and this will turn on our pump. And then we're going to sleep for five minutes. And then what this will do is it will turn on our pin, turn on our pump, wait five minutes. And then while it's waiting, the pin is still going to be high. So the pump is going to be turned on for the whole five minutes. And then after that five minutes is up, we're going to pull the pin back down to gpio.low and therefore turning off the pump. So what, what this first three lines of code does in the loop is it turns on the pump 
sleeps for five minutes, and then turns off the pump. And now we're going to sleep for four hours. And the reason we're sleeping for four hours is because we want every four hours, we want those three lines above to run. We want the pump to turn on, we want to wait for five minutes, and turn it off. So we're going to sleep for four hours. That's just an easy way to write four hours, because you're doing 60 times 60, which gives you uh, hours, and then you're doing times four, which gives you four hours. Sleep for four, because remember, the argument in sleep has to be seconds. So we're going to sleep for four hours hours and then what this does is it means those three lines above will run every four hours and that's what we want because we want it to turn on and off for five minutes every four hours so now, now our, our code is pretty much done for the pump this, this is pretty simple code once you understand what the, some of those helper functions does like set mode setup and output then it, it's not that hard so let's go back to main.py and let's import our function so if you remember we do this by saying from pump import manage underscore pump or whatever the name of the function is and then we can just call the function. So manage pump. And one one thing about writing code for the Raspberry Pi is I can't test code on my MacBook because obviously I don't have access to GPIO GPIO output pins. So what you have to do is write code on your MacBook and then transfer that code to your Raspberry Pi and then test it there. Because you can't run code for Raspberry Pi on your MacBook because you don't have the GPIO output pins. So you need to write the, if you're writing code on your Mac, write the code, transfer it to Raspberry Pi using using the video I, I did before on how we can transfer files between your Mac and the Raspberry Pi, and then pr try the code on your Raspberry Pi that way, because then it will actually run as intended. But yeah, next time, we need to make the circuit for the lights, and then we'll do the code for the lights, and then we need to do the, the same two videos for the water sensor, and then we can do a final video where we bring all the software together and make it all work.